three years after the mech RPG Wolfstride, developer Odo Iman is back with a new deck building roguelike adventure called Zedzillions. While Wolfstride showcased the team's competence for creating unique gaming experiences and scenarios, Zedzillion seems to have turned the zaniness up to 12. The result is a space adventure with all the ingredients you'd expect from a roguelike genre, but with a healthy dose of chaotic scenarios to keep you invested. Zedzillions establishes its plot by hyping up the human race. The opening is reminiscent of things like Starship Troopers, where humanity has to come together to fight back against hostile alien planets. This leads you to manning the captain's chair for the spaceship, Baby Violence, in search of a new home for humans. This idea of conquering space plays into the overall game loop, but the narrative does have some depth to it. As you make your way across each act, you can trigger events that provide an insight into the crew and their everyday lives. On board with you are Foam Gun, Doc, and Ziggy. But throughout the adventure, the cast expands to include other additions. During each act, your crew will provide you with missions that you can take on for unique rewards, but it'll be up to you to navigate the ship through space to the objective or other areas of interest as you make your way to the final boss. This becomes the overall roguelike game loop, and it remains pretty standard throughout. Players can choose branching paths to new nodes, which could be an event, battle, planet, card upgrade, or shop. I'm sure you get the idea. At the beginning of each run, you can choose a starter deck, but you can build on them as you collect new cards. This is one of those games where you may be quickly overwhelmed during your first couple runs, but as you gain experience and complete events, the game presents a natural way of pushing your strategy to get absolutely as far as you can. So after a few times of getting your ass handed to you, you'll find the difficulty gets toned down pretty quickly. I can attribute this to the cards that make up the decks, and deck building is where Zedzillion stands out most prominently within the genre. An early tutorial does very little to prepare you for the depths of these card battles. From special effects to status elements, there's quite a bit to unpack. The foundation is built upon the idea of population and HP. Given that you are trying to spread humanity across space, some cards add population to enemies, which is presented by a gauge on top of their HP. In terms of strategy, you can increase the population and then utilize a card that causes damage based on the population number. However, that's only one basic strategy and becomes so much more complex in later acts. After a while, you'll easily get through the opening sections of the game following a few runs, but you can't rely on the same strategy across the entire game. It becomes a mix of whether you should drain the HP or add population, but then there's also shields, which could put a damper on some strategies, but you can easily incorporate cards into your deck to anticipate a high shield count. You can also see the enemy's upcoming attack outputs to attempt to beef up your own defenses in order to survive. The result is a fluid player experience of drawing cards, planning a strategy, and then executing. This changes based on the cards in your hand, which interestingly don't reset every turn, so you can hold on to cards if you don't want to use them for your next turn. The more interesting mechanic is the fusion option where you can fuse together cards to form exceptionally powerful cards during a battle. The system for this is incredibly user intuitive as well, as you are just shown the cards that can be fused and nothing is hidden from the player through multiple clicks or anything like that. Everything about this game remains easily acceptable by just playing it, which allowed me to learn the nuances of the experience rather quickly. Given that this is a roguelike, you should prepare to get a game over more than a few times, especially in your first couple runs. However, while death brings you back to the beginning, you retain experience, access to unlocked decks, and companions. I forgot to mention that you do get companions throughout the adventure who assist you in various ways. However, one time one of them accidentally destroyed a planet that I was trying to populate, so they do require some understanding when determining who to bring to your adventure. Aesthetically, I found Zedzillion to mirror some of my favorite anime from Studio Trigger. It just has this punk rock appeal and the character designs are amazing. There's also voice audio for more important story scenes which adds another layer of quality to the overall experience. 
Zed Zillion doesn't seem to want to reinvent the wheel on deck building roguelikes, but it still manages to introduce a nice layer of unique systems that allow it to stand out. Its narrative depth and cool characters give players more reason to pull through the campaign, which means mastering the roguelike systems and building a deck worthy of saving humanity. The difficulty and combat systems do require player skill, but I enjoyed the challenge and strategy required to see all the great cards and scenarios packed into this space adventure. Noisy Pixel is giving Zed Zillions an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. <laughs>